Well, my well pump keeps clean, clogging up. There was a big chunk of stuff on here. There's some kind of mineral in my well that builds up. But the other side looked like this side. I decided to flush the well out. And I know they put air down in there when they drill the wells and push the water out. So I got an 80 gallon, 150 pound air tank down there. And I tried the, the, the small regular airline, it wasn't enough volume. So I switched to a three quarter inch ID garden hose, hooked that up to the airline directly up to the tank. And my son's going to crack it open and see if we can't flush the well. So let me tell him to go. All right, open it up. I accidentally hit the stop button, but you got it all coming out pretty much. But you can see how dirty, dirty it was. And I already stirred it up with, with this hose. So I'm going to repeat that process like three or four times. I'm waiting for the air compressor to pump back up. And uh, hopefully that keeps some of the clogging from going on. And I'd like to get my well pump a little deeper, but because of the sediment, I can't. So let's hit her again here in a minute. Here it comes. Whoa, look at that. So I've repeated it several times. I have to do it the slow way. I figured out that I can't turn it on for 10 seconds and off for 10 seconds and back on again. Because what happens when you do that is all the, the head pressure from the water that's risen up into the well casing. Once you turn the air, air off, it all settles back down and immediately pushes that sediment into the hose. And then when you turn it back on, the hose is clogged. So basically once you turn it on, you have to let it run its course. You have to let the air air you have to turn the air off real gradually to give it time for the for the water column to drop back down while keeping the air pressure in the hose greater than that of the pressure of the water coming back down, if that makes sense. Because if you just turn it on, off back off again, then it pushes all that sediment up in the hose, it clogged up, and that's what happened to me. I turned it on. And it went and then stopped. And real quick, I turned it off because I had a feeling it was clogged. I just didn't know why. I thought it, I thought that I jammed it down in the sediment too far. But no, it was the, the back filling of the hose that did it. So anyways, I'm going to repeat this a couple more times and go get my hose, my well pump line, I mean. 
get it one foot longer than this and drop it down into well first I got to take a measurement to see uh, how much water column I got now or how far the bottom is rather so anyways uh, as you can see I get into a little bit of everything well there it is it's all done I uh, tried something different at the end last two or three times I flushed it I think I ended up flushing it uh, 11 times but the last two I really got the dirt out of it and I didn't I didn't film it for some stupid reason but uh, what I did was I got a I got a reserve of water about uh, 30 or 40 gallons reserve and I'm able to put air pressure to a tank I got down there and get water well what I did is I put the garden hose back down the well and then I put the water to it and used the water to stir up the sediment at the bottom and boy when I hit her then my son was out here he said it looked like an oil well it was black so we did that a couple times and then I ran out of water so then I hit it with air a couple more times and then we uh, buttoned it up but I wanted to point out too that the first thing I did was well, it's not laying out here anymore is the hose I, I put a lot of weight on the end of the hose to keep it from pu pushing up out and it still pushed up out I probably had like five pounds probably should have had like 10 and another thing I did is the tube I put on the end of the hose it wasn't straight down I come out at a 90 that way it wouldn't create a rocket effect and shoot it back up out of there and I also removed my regulator off the air tank and went right straight out of a three-quarter inch line and the reason I did that wasn't for pressure it was for volume it doesn't take a lot of pressure to get the water out of there well on mine that 42 feet of water it doesn't maybe if you had 142 feet of water depth it would but I if I did the numbers right it was saying a one inch one inch column of water anyway is like 0.44 psi is your pressure so if you figure that out they come like the 20 psi would be enough to force the water out of that hose and then back up through but then the well's 80 feet so but anyways i never reached that much pressure except when i i had the clogging issue which i explained it's where if you turn the if you turn the air off too quick then the column of water will rush back down in and there's more pressure in the well casing to what's in the hose once you turn the water off and it forces debris up in there and my debris is like a sandy debris it's real fine but uh i don't know if you ever messed with sand but it's like once you once you get it moving it'll flow but if you stop stop it for a couple seconds and then try to get it moving again it will not move it like solidifies and that's what happened inside the hose it was everything was all agitated and it rushed up in the hose and then as soon as it stopped then it wouldn't come out but anyways if uh, i have to say don't try this at home because <laughs> like i said that hose could burst you get too much pressure on it but i just thought you fellas would be interested to see a little geyser action here here today i think it's really gonna really gonna help my well out like I said, I went from, uh, well, I don't know if I did say, I went from 77 feet to uh, 81 feet on my well depth. That's where my pump is. It was at 77 feet, now it's at 81. And I was able, able to remove 8 feet 3 inches of sediment. My well got 8 feet 3 inches deeper. So uh, I think that's really going to help. And it took uh, 48 years for that sediment to get in there. Well, I assume it did. I mean, there might might have been enough from the get go. I don't I don't know, but I know it's eight feet three inches deeper than now. So, anyways, I'm out here getting getting chilly. It's starting to rain. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, be safe, people.